What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a catch and cook on some trout. There's some big trout in here. You know, maybe we'll break a five pound mark on trout. You never know, but you can literally see them swirling. So I can't wait to get out there. We're going to be throwing just a variety of things from like drop shots, uh, Carolina rigs. Might be just throwing some weightless stuff. I don't know. We'll see what they're biting. Maybe some little spinners or something. But hopefully we can get into a couple schools. If we can catch a couple big ones, we will do a catch and cook like I said. Trout is one of our favorite fish to eat. Amazing eating fish. You guys haven't eaten trout which I bet most fishermen have, uh, you got you to gotta try it for sure. But we're going to go ahead and get ready, try to catch a couple of these fish, and tag along see what happens. Go in and cast behind them. Oh, dang, he's rolling. So we're out here fishing in a small stream in Alaska, and the trout are going nuts. <laughs> I can't believe how hard they're fighting. Wow. He's a big one. He's a big one. There you go. There you go. Nice. That's a fat one right there. Holy cow. Yeah, Bring him on in. Wow, look at this beast. Let me get the camera real quick. Yeah. Look at how fat this one is, guys. Oh, double hookup. Brian's hooked up. Double hookup. <laughs> look at this. Look at this fat guy. Wow, this is, this is nuts. Hey, here. You got it hooked up? Check it out. Look at this monster really quick. 4.93. Wow. 4.93 right there. That's going to make a good meal right there. Yeah, that's Look a big one. Thing. Holy cow. Woo. All right, film Brian's. Brian's got a stud up. too. I'm only using a two pound test. <laughs> so, mine take a little longer. Two pound test with these big four or five pound trout. It's gonna take a little while, like you said. Geez, that thing goes. Oh, this one's peeling your drag pretty good. It's not very often you get a trout toe on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, we'll resume to this shortly. No. <laughs> Another monster right there. There, big trout in here. Holy cow! Santa Ana River Lakes, <laughs> California. Awesome. Freaking unreal. <laughs> That's a big trout. Can you give me a still shot of this one. Yeah. Yep. With my phone. Trip. Yep. Let's see him <laughs> come back up. Right when you turn on the camera is right when you stop jumping out of the water. Jeez, these these trout put a big fight. It looks like it's stuck on the side of his, his face. He probably swooped for it. And... Wow, he's running too. <laughs> then... What is that? That's not my lure. Oh no? I hooked on to somebody else's lure in here. Somebody else snagged him, broke off, and now seniors got him. The heck? So. Oh, you hooked into so the other my, guy's lure. Yeah, my lure hooked that lure. Whoa. Oh, that's unbelievable. Your lure hooked that guy's lure. Wow, that's not a okay. beautiful. That's a big trout. one, too. Oh, that's, my gosh. That Ooh. one's been in here a while, too. He's got good pins. Get a close-up of this. Whoever this belonged to, you had a, you had a fish. <laughs> that was with a topwater, too. I thank you. No. <laughs> I need pliers. Somebody snagged this trout with a topwater lure, and then Senior's bait caught the top water lure and once again this is another five pound trout probably Those there it goes there we go. that's a nice right, one he's going back he's going back see how, how the metal hooks right there there's yeah. a little gap my line went in there Dang. it went in there but it's going to be hard to take out uh -oh. that's a cast of that's that's one of one in a million. 
One in a ten million. <laughs> now I got a new little top water baby torpedo, but it's not part of Shop Carl's. All right, so I'm falling behind right now on the the fish catches. So I'm gonna switch it up. I was fishing a variety of like mouse tails and all that stuff, and they weren't working. So I found this little ten thousand fish shot imitation. You guys can tell it's been used before. It's a little beat up. I caught a couple of bass with it already, but we're gonna give it a shot, see if it can't catch a trout. Throwing it on a drop shot here, and I'm just gonna cast it and jig it through them. Big bait means big fish now. It's running. It's going, it's going. Oh man, I missed it. Thing's about four or five pounds. Yeah. Screaming, Jed. I'm gonna burn my reel. <laughs> It's coming towards. It's coming towards. It's coming towards. Oh, there you go. Oh, he just ran. <laughs> he just ran straight at the boat. Here he is, right here. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's one of those big old females. That's why cool, she fought man. so hard. Oh, cool. She just ran straight for the boat and tried to beeline under it. There we go. If you want to see a uh, catch co bait work right here, this is that 10,000 fish shimmer shad right there. Straight out of its mouth. Five pound trout. Oh my This gosh. thing put a big fight right here. I thought I was stuck at first because I was just <laughs> jigging it and then boom, I was like, oh started splashing everywhere so we're gonna go ahead and let her go this is a big female you can tell but got me a monster trout <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and let her go real quick yep. oh. and that was a quick release <laughs> let herself go <laughs> that was a quick release did you let her go or did she get away she got away <laughs> i was gonna keep her now <laughs> that's good yeah we only uh, take home what we're gonna eat tonight or within the next couple days. There's no use in having all these fish in your freezer and they just go bad after all. Number two. Yay, yay, yay. Pull the uh, plug for me if you don't mind. Monster trout. These are like th four pounders, each of them. Four or five pounders. Sweet. Looks just oh, like a salmon shot. fillet. Wow. That looks like a coho salmon fillet. <laughs> All right, so we ended up catching a couple big trout. Um, like we said, it's gonna be catch and cook, so we're cleaning them right now. We catch four big ones, and as you guys can see here, we're getting just amazing fillets, nice, awesome colored meat. All right, guys, we're home now. Um, we got a lot going on right now because we're just cooking dinner for everybody, but I've got some trout fillets. Now, I'm just gonna take it simple. Uh, as always, I'm trying to keep it very simple. And I'm gonna try something new. I didn't read this on the internet or nothing. I'm just Coming up with this recipe on the top of my head. I've got both my trout fillets. I'm gonna set them skin side down. All right, so all I'm gonna do is I've got a couple of things here. I've got some teriyaki sauce. I was gonna do some soy sauce too, but we have pretty much none. Some minced garlic and some chili pepper. So this is ground chili pepper. That's all we're gonna be using. We're gonna bake this, but right here, I'm just gonna put a nice healthy coating of this teriyaki sauce over the top of this fish. And I'm also gonna get some below it. So you're gonna lift it. Since I put, said put skin side down, lift it, throw some of it on bottom. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda just rub it in, make sure I cover every, every part of that fish. There's no need to just pour a whole bunch. So next, I'm just gonna get some of this minced garlic here. You just get big chunks like that. You don't want it to be too clumped up in one spot. You just wanna kinda get this flavor of the garlic out. You don't want it to be overwhelming to the bite though. So we have barely any soy sauce left, but I want to see what it's going to taste like with soy sauce. So on one of these fillets, we're going to go ahead and sprinkle the little amount of soy sauce we have over it. 
and then on both fillets I got some ground chili pepper. My family likes when there's a little bit of spice to it, but not too much. And this stuff's hot, so you got to be careful with this. Very light sprinkle. It's going to give it just a little bit of a spiciness. Now that we've got it all seasoned up and ready to be baked, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of wrap this over itself. And I'm going to cover it with uh, this aluminum foil. All right, so there we go. We got all the fish wrapped up. Now we're about to put it in the oven here. All right, so we got the oven preheated at 350 degrees. Um, we're going to go ahead and set this trout in there and then I'm not sure exactly how long it'll take. We'll check it in about 15-20 minutes, see if it's done then and we'll let you guys know. We've already got some delicious food in there cooking. That's striped bass, isn't it? I think my mom's cooking striped bass, so we're going to go ahead and throw this trout on the bottom tray and we're going to enjoy ourselves a nice dinner here shortly. So it's been about 20 minutes now. We're going to go ahead and see if it's done. Um, my mom's got striper on top once again, but Hopefully this, this is done. See, so it was leaking. Here we go, 20 minutes, 350 degrees. Should be cooked all the way through, I would think. So, we're gonna check. The way you tell fish is done is you go ahead and you test if it's flaky. So just like this fish right here, if I put my fork in it, Yep, it falls apart nice and easy, so I'm guessing that's done. Perfect, so we're going to go ahead and taste it now. So I got some of this hoisin sauce. I think it tastes good with this. I don't know. I'm going to put on a little bit of it and see if it tastes good with it, too. We're going to give it a good little taste here. All right, Julian's taste testing right now. Let's see what he thinks. And Senior's also going to give it a what shot. What do we have here? Let's that's see. that trout. So that's a bite without the hoisin sauce. Let's see. Official taste tester. You got a bone right there. Yep. Perfect. Senior's watch tasting it. Bone, that sauce down there, the take bone. the bite different with that sauce. A different bite, yeah. Pretty good. good. That's good? Has a little bit of kick to it. Yeah. Tell me what you think. And then bite it with that hoisin sauce next. See if you like it better with that or not. Wow. It's good? That's delicious. Turn it up a little bit. That is really good. Did you get it with that sauce on it? Perfect. This Senior tastes like salmon. salmon. It tastes like, tastes, like, tastes like the last time I had This sauce salmon. makes it taste more like a sushi. Yeah, it makes it sweeter, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, that's why I said add it to your desire, because I wouldn't add it on there on the top. And it's a little bit on the sweet side too, huh, Yeah, especially with the sauce. That's that bite with the extra sauce on it. That's why I said you add that to your desires. <laughs> now, I really like it. It's probably for me a, a 9 out of 10. The only thing that gets 10 out of 10 is if it's fried, because something about fried fish, it pulls on my heartstrings and I love fried food. But this is like a number nine. This is a solid nine right here. You can't even get to the 10 level without just being dipped in something, just sizzling hot. But this, delicious. And by you, you just give it about a nine too. About a nine? I give it a 10. I like it. I think it's on up there with the, the fried trout. Yeah, it, it, it's close. It's really close. It's knocking on the door. So we got full plates here. As you can see, my mom also cooked some striped bass. We put it over some rice and got the trout and the striped bass here side by side. Awesome meal. Uh, we're definitely going to have to show you guys that striped bass recipe next time we do a striped bass catch and cook because my mom just cooked it and it is delicious. So this is a grade A meal right here that cannot be beat by any means i think hey they had a cook off adrian did that with his and then my wife did this one over here notice most of it's gone already because juju hooked up a fat plate the base of it was rice then it got covered and it looked something like that and then adrian's is good with rice so we had a cook off and it was delicious I don't even know whose was better because they both ended up a nine. What you think, Jim? Makes eight or taste like a six now that I'm re retesting them. <laughs> okay, I'll get them. <laughs> Alright. So this is a really good recipe. Turned out amazing, like I said, trout. I think I said this earlier in the video. Trout, you can never really go wrong with it. It's just a really good fish in general. You fry it, you can bake it, you can saute it, grill it, anything you want to do. And um 
it'll turn out good. So this recipe turned out great. You guys want to try this? Go ahead. I give it the big thumbs up. I'm sure that uh, Julian and Senior do too. But other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.